perfect competition is a market system where at a uniform price, an infinitely large number of buyers and sellers compete freely and sell a homogeneous product. It has infinite contestability characteristics an unlimited number of manufacturers and customers and a tremendous elastic demand curve. Pag sinabi natin perfect competition or market competition, ito yung mga products na pag napunta ka sa isang lugar na maraming paninda na magkakapareho, yung price nila ay halos same, halos pare-pareho lang. Uh, pag nagpunta ka ng divisoria, Marami doon ng mga tindahan ng damit. Pag nagpunta ka doon, lahat halos ng tindahan ay magkakapareho ng presyo. So, yun yung tinatawag na perfect competition. There are five major characteristics of perfect competition. Number one, a high number of sellers and purchasers. There is a considerable number of buyers and sellers since no one can regulate the market price. When the number of firms is high, an insignificant part of the market is created by each company or seller in a perfectly competitive market. Therefore, any business on the market has no substantial share of total output and therefore no power to influence the commodity's price. Rather than coordinating decisions together, its firm works independently. Assume, for instance, that in Nigeria, there are thousands of independent tire manufacturers. So, gumagawa sila ng gulong. The starting or general market price for tires will remain unchanged if any single producer increases the cost. So, ibig sabihin, pagka walang nagbaba o nagtaas ng presyo, Komo marami sila na gumagawa o nagmamanufacture ng gulong, yung presyo nila ay halos hindi nagbabago. The question becomes, who in such a market decides the price? In an essentially free economy, the price of a commodity is dictated by the forces of consumer demand and market supply because each company knows the price that the customer chooses it becomes a price taker. As the demand determines the price, it is the market maker. Parang isang produkto lang yan. Pagka maraming ani, halimbawa, uh, mga magsasaka, since uh, Nueva Ecija is uh, the rice granary of the Philippines, marami tayong pinuproduce na mga, na mga palay or bigas. Pag maraming ani, Halos pare-pareho ng presyo, walang makapag-demand kung magani presyo. Pag maraming supply, mababa ang presyo. Pagka naman mataas ang, or maba, walang ani, mataas ang presyo. And that is called the law of supply and demand. The next characteristic of a perfect competition is homogeneous product. In a perfectly competitive market, all companies manufacture a standardized or homogeneous commodity. Homogeneous goods are those which are similar in all respects, such as there is no variation in packaging, consistency, colors, and the like. Since the output of one firm is exactly the same as the output of all the others of the market, the products of all firms are the ideal substitutes for each other. This presumption excludes competition between companies in terms of advertisement and disparities in efficiency. Halos pare-pareho ng itsura, pare-pareho ng packaging, halos pare-pareho ng lasa. Yan ang tinatawag na homogeneous product. The next one is free entry and exit. Rapid entrance into the market ensures that a new company does not face any barriers to entry. Barriers can involve financial, technological, or government barriers such as licensing and patents. The purpose of this feature is that firms will make either supernormal profits or losses, or losses in the short term. But all companies on the market will only make expected profits in the long run. 
Ito naman ay ang pagpasok ng mga bagong negosyo, pagsulpot ng mga bagong negosyo na hindi masyadong regulated kaya mas madali nilang o madali silang makapasok sa negosyo na yon. Like for example, yung mga online businesses. Maraming nagsulpotan lalo na nitong pandemic. Yan yung tinatawag na free entry and exit. Pwede silang mag-stop agad kasi wala naman silang masyadong naging puhunan katulad ng pagpapalisensya, paghingi ng permit sa munisipyo, o yung mga ganun. The fourth one or the fourth characteristic is the perfect business awareness. Buyers and sellers have complete knowledge of the products and prices of other sellers. This position ensures a stable price level is achieved by the market. Dito naman, uh, yung isang produkto mo, halimbawa yung produkto, uh, alam, alam ng lahat ng mga sellers at alam din ng buyers kung magkano talaga yung presyo na yun. Kaya walang po pwedeng makapag-overprice or walang po pwedeng mag, uh, magbaba ng presyo dahil the prevailing price ay uh, alam ng lahat. Kaya magkakatalo na lang dun sa, sa service. Uh, sa service sa mga customers kasi alam na ng customers ito yung tinatawag ng mga suki-suki kahit na ang presyo ay halos magkakapareho pero meron pa rin tindahan na laging pinupuntahan ng isang tao Number 5 is perfect mobility of factors production Factors of development are free to switch from one enterprise to another in the economy. It is often believed that employees can switch between different occupations, ensuring that skills can be learned quickly. In the markets, therefore, there is a perfect competition for factors of output. Ang example dito sa perfect mobility of factors production ay yung mga negosyo na dati ay nag-o-offer lang or ang kanilang main product ay pastries or cakes and then afterwards nakita nila mabili uh, nag uh, nag-divert sila into into a restaurant so po pwede na silang mag-dine in so yun yung tinatawag na mobility of factors production